All right, what's going on, guys? So today, we're going to be having a little discussion, kind of a continuation of the last video, but not exactly, because last video, we took a look at some messages of some guys that were down pretty bad, and when I say pretty bad, I mean, like, really bad, like, atrociously, but in this video, I want to break it down a little bit further because I want to look at a very specific type of interaction and it's kind of hard to explain so I think it would be better if I just show you what I mean so once again I am getting these from down bad patrol on Twitter shout out to that dude but anyways let me show you what I'm talking about hey so are we still on for today at noon yes mall day want to get dinner at PF Chang's after no, Anthony, you gotta help me find hot guys to talk to so they can take me to dinner. Okay, now first of all, that's not me, okay? Relax. I already know what you're all gonna say. Let's take it down a notch, okay? Don't disrespect me like that. Now, second of all, do you kind of understand what I'm talking about now? Like, let me do one more example real quick so you can really get like the full picture of what I mean by this type of interaction. Did you submit the project? Just submitted it now. We're done. Yay! Have a good break. You too. Also, this is a bit random, but let me know if you ever want to talk more. Working with you was fun. We should. You could introduce me to your hot friends. <laughs> oh man, like, that has to be on purpose, right? Like, you know what you're doing by saying that, right? Like, there's just no way. You know, they could try to deny it and say that they don't mean anything by that, but like, you know what you did, okay? That was disrespectful, all right? I, I would rather you straight up say no than say something like this, all right? Because this is pretty much a double kill. This is worse than no, because on one hand, she's basically implying that you're ugly, right? Because you're asking to hang out, and she's like, yeah, okay, we can hang out, but you know, you need to help me look for some hot guys. Like, hold on. I'm supposed to be the hot guy. What, what's, what's, wait a minute, hold on. I thought that was me. Like, that's why I'm here. I'm the hot guy. And then all of a sudden, I'm helping you look for someone else. Like, hold on, you know what I mean? Like, that's just terrible. And that's what makes it even worse is because now you're basically there for no reason. You know, hopefully none of these people actually respond to any of these. We don't see a response in any of the messages because like, what would you say? You know what I mean? Like, there's really nothing you could say. Like, I hope none of you is like, okay, sure, yeah, I'll bring some of my hot friends with me. Like, that sounds terrible. You know what I mean? I really hope nobody responded like that. But, like, really, what else is there to say? You know what I mean? You're beyond friend zoned at this point. You know what I mean? So, I would just hope that none of these dudes follow through with these plans, man, because. That would just be terrible. So let me just read one more. This one's really bad. This is easily the worst one. So let me just read this last one and then we're going to wrap this up. All right. Hey, can I ask you something? Of course, anything, LOL. Hey, I'm back. Hey, what were you going to ask me, LOL? You're going to hate me. I just needed a ride to my dick appointment, but it's okay. I got one. Nah, man, like, this is just horrendous, bro. I can't believe the audacity of this bitch right here. You better block her. Honestly, like, I just can't believe you asked someone that. Like, this might be one of the most disrespectful exchanges I have ever seen. She has absolutely zero respect for you to ask you something like that. Like, I'm actually kind of upset. This isn't even about me. I don't know these people, but this is so terrible that it actually kind of just pissed me off right now reading that. Like, wow, I have never before seen something like that, man. That is terrible. So anyways, let's go ahead and just wrap this up, man. Let's circle back around to the title, to the question of the day. I want y'all's opinion. Do y'all think that females do this on purpose i'm gonna have to say yes you know like i'd say nine times out of ten yes they do they know what they're doing and they don't care i'd say maybe occasionally the rare occasion maybe they don't really get what they're doing maybe they didn't mean to come across this way but i mean you have to be pretty stupid to not see what you're doing, right? Like, because if a dude is asking to hang out with you, 
obviously he's interested, right? He's shooting his shot, right? So clearly he's trying to hang out with you. And then you're like, yeah, I mean, you can hang out, but you know, make sure you bring some of your hot friends too. So I could talk to them. Cause you know, you're an ugly, disgusting piece of shit. And I don't want to talk to you. Like that is just tough, man. Like, listen, ladies, you don't got to do that. All right. Don't do all that. Just say no. A very simple no would be fine. It would be much appreciated over anything like this. I would take a no over these responses every single time. Like, these are just brutal. Because these are just beyond a no. You know what I mean? Because if it's a no, it's like, all right, she said no, move on. That's cool, whatever. No big deal. But this is like a no disguised as a yes. And also, like, as part of the no, not only is it a no, you're also supposed to be helping her find someone else. Like, that's so crazy, you know what I mean? Like, this is the most disrespectful no you could get. So, anyways, y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. I just refuse to believe that you could be so naive and not see what you're doing here. Like, there's just no way. So, I'm convinced that they're doing it on purpose. Maybe they think it's funny or something. This is their entertainment, you know what I mean? They probably just toss this in the group chat. They have a good old laugh about it, I guess. I don't know. But, like, you're not going to convince me that this isn't being done on purpose. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Y'all let me know your thoughts down below. Season 1 for Cold War is officially dropping on Wednesday, I believe, the 16th. So I'll definitely have some raid gameplay up. I want to try out the VSAT, see how all that goes. And I think there also is one more 6v6 map as well. And then I think two new weapons as well. A lot of stuff coming. So I think this is really going to be the deciding factor of the game. So I might have like one more like final review of Cold War based off of like everything that gets added in Season 1. It seems like a lot of content is about to be dropping. And I think we can finally consider it more of a complete game. So I might have some updated thoughts on the game after this drops. But yeah, anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. Basically, we read a bunch of messages kind of similar to these. Some worse, some better. Different type of scenarios, but something along those lines. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.